Hello everyone, I am Arijit Mandal and currently I am a first year MBBS student at Institute of Medical Science, Banaras Hindu University, IMS BHU. So last week it was our first sessional exams. We had theory and practical papers of all the three subjects and it was very hectic and after the sessional exams, finally we had our summer vacations. So we are all back at home. So I, we are at a shy of relief. But after coming here, I got to know that uh, the results of 10th boards for various boards and uh, especially my boards, WB boards, uh, Mathemic exam results are going to be out soon. And freshly budding med aspirants will be out there, will be stepping into their class 11th with the dream of becoming a doctor. So in this video, I'll try to share some facts, some uh, benefits uh, that I wish someone had told me when I stepped into class 11th. So this video is majorly for for my WB students, uh, both students, because they are because we are an hour of many facts. So first thing, what to choose for med, uh, PCB or PCMB? Because in uh, West Bengal uh, Higher Secondary Educational Board, it is very conventional to take both maths and biology without thinking about the future. So I'll be talking about both the pros and the cons of taking PCB as well as PCMB. So the first thing that, and it's not about only WB board students, any for any board, I, would, I can say that. If you're having a clear mindset that the MBBS is the only thing that I'm gonna pursue, nothing else, then PCB is the best. Because why to take a, a greater burden of taking maths on your back well, while it will you know shorten your span for other the PCB subjects so of course if you're like having a clear mindset that nothing I'm gonna do except of becoming a doctor then go for PCB don't take extra burden of mathematics of course but if you are someone who tries to explore who are not yet very sure that who, where his or her inclination is towards do take PCMB and if you're even uh, like thinking that, uh, you know, I'm going to go for bio, uh, med sciences, but I have inclinations towards other things also. I may go into research. If uh, meat doesn't become my cup of tea, I may do other subjects also. I may do BSc honors. I may do research programs, maybe BSMS, other subjects, other courses. Then also you should think twice before taking PCB. Let me tell you why. The thing is, the moment you choose PCMB, the more ways after your class 12th will be opened. Majority of the good colleges, majority, I'm talking about JU, I'm talking about DU, majority of the universities won't even give you a degree course in physics and chemistry if you don't have maths in your class 2 course. So if you don't know that, learn it because majority of the universities won't be providing me with a degree of uh, BSc honors in physics, chemistry in, uh, in your, I mean, BSc honors if you don't have mathematics in your class 2 course. Secondly, there is a grand exam called KVPY. If you are having maths in your class 11th, you may excel in that exam. Also, for many research courses like BSMS in ISERS, in IISCs, you have to have maths as a mandatory subject to get admission into. Without maths, if you're having a good, good, good rank in your KVPY exam, you're not eligible to take admission in the most prestigious and number one university in India, that is Institute of Science, uh, Bangalore, with the BS research course. So if you are someone who is inclined towards research programs also please do take maths along with your PCB and also that's the fact that some uh, times you may think that uh, my way uh, your mind get diverted you may think that uh, no maybe uh, med science is not my thing I may go for other subjects you wanna if you wanna take multiple alternatives you wanna have a backup plan if not MBBS then what then my suggestion would be try to go along with your maths as well because having a maths along with your PCB physics chemistry biology will provide you a backup plan that uh, you that can propel you towards uh, the basic science courses the you know the research courses in ISERS and IISs everywhere and 
you know what when you are having maths if you are not even at good like normally good at it and if you are excelling in in uh, physics and chemistry you can you know you can gracefully crack the engineering exams like zeeman of course i'm not going to say that without maths with good uh, excel in maths you can clear out say advanced but yeah if you are having good strength in physics and chemistry and even the basic maths of 11th 12th you can clearly uh, excel zeeman with like 98 99 percentile which will also give an opportunity to get into nits so uh, so, so i I'll, i'll again emphasize that if you're someone who is thinking that uh, mbbs is the only thing strictly that i'm going to pursue then go for pcb and if you're wanting alternative pathways and backup plans i would suggest to go for pcmb this was the first discussion secondly i would say that many people don't know it when of course they know it afterwards when the need happens and when the uh, their course starts but if you're doing uh, your 11th and 12th from a particular state or a particular uh, regional territory will get the internal quota of that state at the territory like uh, the biggest thing about it is your chikmar internal and your delhi university quota and indraprastha university quota so the thing is the biggest brand names if you are like new med aspirants you may not even know it but the biggest colleges mamsi bolana azad vmmc chipma they all have it uh, like the du universities and the ip universities have like 85% of their internal quotas uh, their like, state quota or the territory quota whatever you say and chipma has around like uh, 30% i guess the internal quota so what happens is if you are doing your class 2 from delhi or delhi nearby areas if you have to research about it you may get your delhi university quota or and your ipu quota when you are going to sit for neat so it will help you very much like with a uh, good marks like 650 670 you may get into the uh, delhi universities like uh, in the like mamsi ucms while from all india quota you may you may need like 690 above or like 700 above for those colleges so that's a great opportunity and many people don't know it priorly so i just wanted to make you aware of that fact and also in case of jipma there is a slight chances that with slight less marks in from that territory you may get into jipma pandicherry uh, if you want that you may also read through research about it but there is also cons for it delhi is the high cut off territory matlab uh if you're like having 670 680 650 you will get into the most prestigious medicine in universities of the india but if you're just having a decent marks like 620 630 while well, in other states you may get a good college in delhi you may not even get a college so that's a big difference in delhi so if you're have if you're thinking like going to delhi and pursue your plus 2 from there you will of course get delhi quota and your ipu quota for your uh, medicine courses uh, with less marks you may get into those colleges than i i yeah, i think that it's easier pathway than all india quota to get into mmc and ucm so mmc but also that's a con that uh, if your marks are below just below a margin like 630 620 you may not even get a college so think properly and then decide So this was all I needed to tell you guys before you guys step into your class 11th. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, please comment, share, and like it. And also be subscribed to my channel for more upcoming content. Have a good day. Goodbye. Start hustling, and for others, keep hustling for your neat exam. Goodbye.